Hi, it's David and Chardeep. Uh, despite his busy schedule, uh, Chardeep has come back to talk uh, with us about some more of those Cloud Stack networking features. Uh, so, one of the features that Cloud Stack recently introduced was this idea of a redundant router. Um, and Cloud Stack has, has long talked about uh, high availability, and I, I've always said uh, when we were talking publicly that. That's not high availability. That's not true high availability. It's not. Uh, it's not things like pacemaker or core sync that are sitting in the background ensuring there's something always there. It's we'll we'll detect it and we'll make that mean time to recovery really short. Uh, but, but this is truly a highly available uh, router solution. Can you can you tell us a little bit about why uh, why the impetus to do that and and uh, a little bit about the technology behind it. Sure, when you use the advanced virtual uh, networking mode, uh, the router sits between, it's, it's, it's an edge router, so it sits between you and the internet. Mm -hmm. And so if that goes down, you're, you're essentially lost access to your guest instances. So all of your VMs yeah. effectively? They're still running, but then if they, you, you can't talk to them and they can't talk to the internet. So it's a single point of failure, right? It is a single point of failure. Yeah. I mean, typically what we, CloudStack will do is that if the router dies, for example, the hypervisor tells us that it's dead, it will restart it. Sure. But then that gives you a long, fairly long window of downtime in the order of minutes. Sure. And so uh, to make that in more terms of seconds, we, we introduced the rear the router feature. Yeah. So, so um, from what I understand by reading the, the functional spec, that, that's using a virtual redundant, redundant router <laughs> protocol. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that's set up and architected to, to ensure uh, to ensure availability? <clears throat> Sure, I mean, VRRP is a very standard protocol. It's been around mm -hmm. the internet for uh, decades, if not longer. Um, so we just, there's an open source package called VRRP, mm -hmm. which, which we uh, take advantage of. And on top of that, we take advantage of um, uh, Keepable ID mm -hmm. uh, to do, do the actual switchover. Uh, so VRRP is a standard protocol where each, there's two, when we start up two routers, mm -hmm. and one router is the passive and one is the active. And these two routers keep pinging each other with, with the VRP protocol. And when we're the slave or the, or the backup detection, the master router is, is dead, the, the slave takes over the IP addresses. And mm -hmm. then the slave also has a current copy of firewall rules, the, the VPNs, and everything, the whole state of the router. And so it's able to come up with it. So, so uh, you, of course, are, are ensuring that that those two virtual machines are allocated to, to different hosts, right? That's right. These yeah. two uh, virtual machines are all, always on different hosts. All right. So, uh, what uh, what are you look? What do you see typically in, in failover time? Um, the failover time is actually configurable. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easily configurable, but it, it is configurable. But the standard uh, timeout is five seconds. Five seconds. So you could, uh, you could of course make that larger or smaller. Correct. Yes. Um, and uh, what, um, what does that strut? Does that, does that consume? Ex I assume that consumes extra resources. Certainly allocated. Resources. It does. You, you have a virtual router which is essentially sitting around doing nothing. Right. But if you if you need that uptime, that's really yes. cheap insurance. Yeah. Very good. Anything else we need to know about uh, about cloud stacks or other router? Feature. Um, I think that's it. Oh, outstanding. Thanks for making time to talk to us.